This is Twit. Why shouldn't you have access to your own messages? If this is truly like your communication, um, it's, it's yours. So, I mean, it's a long way of saying, take what's yours. Like these are, mm. these are your messages. Um, you wrote them, someone else wrote them back to you. They're not necessarily owned by some corporation. They're like your, your messages. And the way to think about how we interact with them is every messaging app has an interface, whether it's a web interface, whether it's a Android app, um, all we're doing is kind of pack packaging that interface into another app. So when you open Beeper, you can think of it like in the back, in the back, there's like gears and cogs turning and they just connect to whatever network happened to have an app, a website, whatever. Kind of intercepts it along the way. And that, that actually, you know, ties right in with, with how it sounds like you're getting around the iMessage on Android uh, issue, yeah. right? The it's iPhone, an iPhone or a Mac is running a server, essentially intercepting those messages and passing it through. That leads me to a question that I have about kind of like uh, protection, like privacy protection, security, uh, encryption, that sort of stuff. In doing so, does it, I mean, I'm assuming it lessens the security model of that particular messaging platform. Is that right? Yeah. So, I mean, the, the thing to remember about iMessage is that uh, people think it's encrypted and it's kind of because yes, iMessage is end-to-end -end encrypted, but by default, iCloud is enabled. And when you use iCloud, all your messages are backed up to Apple's servers and they hold the encryption keys. Sure. But however, at the same time, I mean, people feel, feel more comfortable uh, knowing that there is an encryption aspect yeah. and or so element the way to that. that the way that uh, Beeper works is we um, like we run a server like in this case on your on your Mac, um, but the server encrypts re-encrypts the messages with an encryption key that you set up, and then it sends it to the Beeper okay. servers, and oh, I see. we can't decrypt so it. In fact, it's, so it's it's even better it's than more iMessage. Encrypted. It's it's, it, it's more <laughs> secure than iMessage. <laughs> Given that Is no there, one has direct access to your server, which why would yeah, they? You could, turn, say, you, know, you could turn right. off iCloud backup yeah. when you use Beeper yeah. and have a record yeah. of all your messages without Apple being able to see it. So it's it's right. more secure. Hey. I do now, this with another obviously. open source app that I use, um, an app called Joplin. It does sort of the same kind of encryption where you have to set the the key across yeah. the different devices. Is that how it works here as well? That's exactly how it works. When okay. you set up a Beeper account, you have to uh, write down or copy into your password manager a string, and that string you need to keep safe because that's your that's your own personal authentication key. Uh, you never send that to the Beeper servers, but when you log into a new client, you have to load that key in. Or if you have already logged into one client, you can just copy a QR code um, from one of the screens. Could you self-host it? I know this is a very nuanced yep. question, but it just the the app I was mentioning that one has you sort of set up a like Dropbox or some cloud service. So curious about that. Yeah, absolutely. So um, we take security and privacy extremely seriously. Obviously, you know, uh, it's it's a messaging product. Like I just went on and on. Like this is you pouring your life out into chat. You don't want this to be public. I mean, considering people are now leaving WhatsApp because they just realized that Facebook owns it because uh, the whole encryption yeah. thing, I, I think, yeah, it's it's a definite talking point. <laughs> For sure. So so the way that we you know take this seriously is the connection point to each of these networks that, that we built um, is actually open source. You could go to our GitLab page today and look at it. Um, so you could look through the code that's running and you can run it yourself. That's the beauty of it. That's beauty of open source. So if you have a Raspberry Pi, or if you happen to have like a VPS server lying around, mm -hmm. or you have you know one of those cheap Amazon or free Amazon um, AWS instances, you can run all the bridges on that and never like basically be ultra secure yourself. What uh, what happens if if uh, oops, sorry I just kicked my camera. What happens if the yeah. servers? go down as far as that's concerned what kind of protections there because i mean this is and i should also add i'm not sure if we've mentioned this this is this is a paid service so it's ten dollars correct me if i'm wrong ten dollars a month 
Uh, so you're paying for the service. What exactly are you paying for and like what protections are happening at the back end? So all your messages are encrypted before they hit our servers with your key. So if you know, our servers are compromised, people can't read your messages. Um, and you can store a backup of your messages as well. It's very easy to just download a copy of all your messages. Um, we made it a paid service because of a couple things. One is I think it really aligns the interests of our company with the interests of our users. Our mission is to build the best communication experience, period. And that means integrating with all the different ways that you already communicate, uh, which cost money. Like we had to you know, spend a lot of time to build all of those connections and to make them reliable and to make sure that they always work. And we wanted to make sure that the company was sustainable, that we didn't have to sell advertising against the content of your messages. We didn't have to, we don't have to sell, you know, your, your contact database to some advertising network. Um, this is, I think the best way that we could, uh, that we could do to, to align the interest between the users and the company.